Have you ever seen someone cooking something very delicious or he's cutting some red bell pepper so that he can actually prepare some Chinese rice and whenever the Chinese rice is ready, how do you want to eat your Chinese rice? You want to make sure that you're eating your Chinese rice when it's smoking hot and served hot. Now to ensure that you get the latest videos straight off the oven, straight off the pan, make sure you subscribe but subscribing is not enough if you want to get the hottest food instead of eating the cold food. You want to click the bell icon as well because clicking the bell icon ensures that you get a notification pop up on your mobile phone or on your channel. So make sure you click that one. Let's jump straight into the video. Asalaamu Alaikum everyone and welcome back to TWT video update. Now TWT looks a little bit safe right now uh we had a little bit of a pump back up to 2.4372 and now we've retraced all the way down to 2.72 and uh, let's see what is going on on the four hour time frame and by the way i've actually tried to buy it again so let's see uh if i can get lucky a little bit with some stop losses down to you know 2.2235 um because of the following trend line by the way and uh this is what i want to show you very quickly now you do have 53 minutes to close I think I bought it a little bit earlier, but anyways, you, see, you, you have this trend line going on with one touches, few touches there. Uh, this morning star right on the trend line as well. So a better stop loss is down at, uh, you know, 2.18918. You don't want to come down and lose 2.18918, but I actually decided to go with 2.2237. The reason why is, you know, you have to jump in into the micro aspect of this coin as well. And uh, based on this microscopic look right now, I'm buying it off the support basically. So, you know, go up, come back, uh, buy at the support, sell at resistance, come back, buy at support, sell at resistance, come back. That's your support again. So you cannot really say that you're coming down. And that's where we have this uh, big wick and the stop loss hunt potentially down at, you know, 2.2258. So even this will do probably. And that's where my stop loss is because I don't need to go on with big risks or anything like that i'm not in the mood for that now uh it really depends on how the four hour candlestick closes now i'm really expecting uh, the four hour candlestick to close in this fashion and that's going to be an inverted hammer if you close like this you really need to close near 2.264 and that will be actually a really really positive sign and then from here in the next four hours if you pump back up like that to 2.3374 then you're looking for a 13 percent move up which is actually going to be this pennant a little bit from there to there and if you break out of it then we might be looking for 2.56 and, and you can see from the place that i'm actually placing my buying bids there that's going to be a 13 percent move up so uh you came up like this make that triangle break out of that triangle and then continue higher but it doesn't really stop there because then again uh you can continue to go all the way to 4.6 dollars that's the technical target by the way 4.6 is still in play at the moment and as far as i see things you've actually made a very pretty clear break of the pennant as well in the daily time frame and the daily time frame actually shows at least 4.2 coming in so uh what can happen no one knows really can you do can you really do that go up there like that anything is possible and i'm just afraid of what bitcoin is doing and how bitcoin looks like so I cannot be so sure about it. If this coin follows Bitcoin footstep and dumps, that's what you, you just can, you don't have any choice other than giving up the, uh, you know, the, the losses or whatever. You just have to give up and run away with the losses. Uh, but if uh, somehow people continue to withdraw their coins from exchanges and they buy TWT, then you get volume in the coin. And when volume kicks in, buyer steps in, then you can completely go the opposite side of Bitcoin as well. Now, personally, I'm bearish overall in the market aspect, but on the chart chart aspect and the logical aspect of this one, there are some hopes because keep in mind, you have three white soldiers again, continuation pattern, pennant breaking out, trend lines showing up. So lose the trend line, you're looking for lower lows, probably, I'm not gonna say it's necessarily, you're gonna go even anyway lower. But on the daily time frame for people who are swing trading, by the way, uh, you should never come down to 1.8. If you start to lose 1.8 completely on a swing trade, then that's gonna be really, really bad. Now in here, this uh, the, the purchase I have is more like a scalping, but, but the swing traders, the people who are holding for weeks and days, I just think that you, you don't wanna come down 
to the lowest part of this area. If you start to take out 1.8, then you're going to be looking for deeper, deeper drop down to even a dollar. Okay, and it's possible. Anything is possible at the moment. It's all on luck. But trading is just probabilities, game of probabilities, not sureties or anything like that. So that's pretty much it for uh, this subject on TWT. Let's see what happens, and I'm going to see you the next one. Hello, Afis.